1,555 people injured in Manipur violence, 28 people still missing. Chief Minister Rendering says government making all-out efforts to address missing persons but facing challenges in entering certain areas. Nine individuals, including one Myanmar national, arrested so far in connection with assassination of Moray SDP of Jingham Anand Kumar. Chief Minister Enbirain says NIA investigation. Fifty percent compensation provided to 139 victims of Manipur violence under scheme for permanent housing. House leader Nong Popa Birain says assessment on damage pending for Chirachanpur district. Renowned Sumang Lila artist Oinam Thoiba, popularly known as Kibai Thoiba, passed away this morning from after a prolonged illness at 70. Supreme Court ends immunity for members of parliament and state legislators who take bribes to vote or speak in certain manner in parliament or legislative assembly. And Manipur sails into semi-final of 77th National Football Championship for Santos Trophy after dressing Assam 7-1 in the quarter-final match. Hello and welcome to Impact News. So, watching Prime Time, the English Bulletin, I'm Kanal Sambandaram, bringing you the top stories and latest news at this hour. Now, the news in details. A total of 1,555 individuals sustained injuries in Manipur violence, which erupted on May 3 last year. A total of 63 people were reported missing, out of which 26 persons were found dead and 9 alive, while 28 people are still missing. Out of the injured persons, 98 are state security personnel and 28 are personnel from the central forces. 300 and 34 of the injured persons sustained bullet injuries and 24 sustained bomb splinters injury. Chief Minister Nongtuman Birain disclosed the same during the question hour of the fifth session of 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly during its fifth and final sitting today. Responding to queries raised by opposition MLA Surj Kumar Okramd, host leader Nongtuman Birain said government is making all-out efforts to trust the missing persons. However, there are some challenges in getting into some places. MLA Surj Kumar drew attention of the Chief Minister for treatment of those severely injured by government. House leader Nong Thoman Birain asserted that government has been taking responsibility of treating the injured persons and it will further look into the treatment of severely injured persons who need further treatment. He appealed to approach the government if anyone has been left out. Missing and declared death. Missing and still under investigation, hingam gani hai na kan bi ba masing sinak kaya lai bino. Sir, aduga missing and declared dead wa raga di ba menna matam matam gyo ay na ha ki matho mo am loy dribo kiti ato pa diye ba karma chat pa yada ba hai ba mso lai sir. Maduna in case case ki severity case ki maya mama government na yeng yeng sin birang mani adubo kari gumba main culprit to pa raga di maagi matho mo am loy sin bina ba kari gumba madu gumba yau yau bi ba lai lai bra hai ba dum tang sir. Missing report on the later Mrs. 63 altogether. I do mean the you don't remember the company of the missing and a pound that she couldn't get through. Dress out a life to give me the map and number the thing that punky at the Jews is still missing 28. Zaga Karada, Queen of Sangling Nagasu, Hexanga, the Tibia, the Zangal Gi Labour, me do part of the Su, Cassidy, the Lego Su, Hangbug and the man of Mapama Hanagasu, Wayam Dabugumba. So, we have a sensitive area that we have to do with the people who are living in the world. We have an active source by the agencies in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. Lahir meroi dah, koy semai nam, kena tak buat jek kacau jek hai besu lak tu benar tu. Aduh, kumpul lak pun semua koy adum. Tapi bumbuk pok gomengi compensate. 
Whereabout of the two students who went missing on July 6 last year remained unknown even though five accused persons have been arrested in connection with the case and charges it filed against them. House leader Nong Tomabirin said the same in response to the star questioned on CBI investigation case for two missing students raised by opposition MLA K. Mega Chandra in the House today. Chief Minister Nong Tomabirin said CBI, which is an independent agency, is probing the case case. However, bodies of the two students are yet to be found. Emily Mega Chandra demanded disclosure of the names and other details of the five arrested persons, to which Chief Minister Nong Tomabirain, who is also in charge of Home Department, replied that he will furnish the details in private as CVI investigation is still underway. <laughs> Satra Pizam Hemzit Sing Amasum, Pizam Lintuing and Bigisi, Mokoi, Sibiana, Sarsita Wimi Mangale, Habidesa, Zudi Makwegisi, Maming Sing, Dokoi Kangjabayagra, Maming Sing Japan Bibiagrasa, Makwegi, Manki Baki, Mafam Sing, Karikai, dead body sings, Pang Dimina, and Banadisa, Ate, Bot Community, Siba Sing Jeluna, my Magi Mafam Longakre, Konakre, ending over Tonakre, as a Magi, Mizu Paravanina, Sibiana Moi, Sarsita, Hiravanina, Magi, Siba. CBI has reported to have filed charge sheet against five accused have been arrested. See the Punjale matter is under investigation. Nine individuals, including one Myanmar national, have been arrested so far in connection with the murder of Moray SDPO Ching Thang Anand Kumar, and the case has been handed over to National Investigation Agency. NIA. Responding to the calling attention in connection with the killing of the police officer moved by opposition to MLAK Mega Chandra, Chief Minister Nong Tuan Birain termed the murder of Moray STPO as a premeditated, cold blooded, and cowardly. He said STPO Anand Kumar was a dutiful police officer and his demise is a huge loss to Manipur. Birain maintained that state police commando personnel from MFAD were dispatched to Moray on the same day the police officer was assassinated to nab his killers. However, the state security team was ambushed by armed militants who were hiding in the hills and during the encounter, some security personnel were injured and their bulletproof vehicles got damaged. Nautama Birain said the nine suspected were arrested during combing operations conducted by Gurkha Regiment, paratroopers and parallel and paramilitary forces in Moray area. He also clarified that one of the arrested persons who was found holding BJP identity card has no connection with the party and the government has taken immediate action against the same. The chief minister also said the government is making all-out efforts for resettlement of Maitei people in Moray. Jagama, the helipad, I'm a CMC Hayden. I do understanding the honorable speaker, sir. Honorable member, same. I do get same busy, Loyam Dighton, Rochella Cadorba. Madam, the security see different single the cell ends laconina. Asama Pilgrim Tare, security pure, Madagi, Lambi the cell, and Bustor. Madugi Potu de Gimadudi, Amuk, security see Sep Oinaba Hayden Equiziki, police station lady, but commando lady with the Gimanata, same. Madai the mine well planned, cold blooded acne, cowardly acne. Mean a Tabuk shooting at the combat chat with the operation chat with the coming operation chat with another gonna encounter the Nathi Hajari. Me the next time, some Tabuk Suruga, Brown Sanga Lady, Nadu, the Lumaga Kapa, the Mudu Kawart, Haina, Lowe, when I live sing Fan Nabahona by Quay. I think the Mukadum, a Quay police commando with him, Makhadi Sangbani. Moina High, Terrorist Radar, Moregi Balantia, Village, but Kapi Bunumi, Chen Ribu Kulai, but my Ampunamuk to Lord Pompey Aponte. I don't know when I see the case, the gravity and the importance, sentiment of the peoples. I don't know when I see foreign agency. Foreign agency means Brahmins, we are not going to be able to do the border. We are going to be able to do the NIA. We are going to be able to do the NIA. We are going to be able to do the NIA. We are going to be able to do the NIA. We are going to be able to do the NIA. We are going to be able to do the NIA. We are going to be able to do the NIA. Chief Minister Nong Tuan informed the House that the government has provided 50% compensation in advance to 
139 victims of Manipur violence for reconstructions of their houses under schemed for permanent housing and 50 person advance compensation for another 472 victims families have been sanctioned. Nongthombam Birain, however, failed to disclose any details of the beneficiary, beneficiary families, stating that those are sensitive information. Responding to star questions raised by Kundrakpumt MLA Tokchomt Lokeshwar in the House today, Nongthombam Birain said, also said relevant deputy commissioners are conducting assessments such as a grand verification of the houses and other properties damaged during Manipur violence and that the assessment is almost completed for all the districts except for Churachanpur district. He said once the assessment is done, compensation to benefit will be provided after deciding its amount as per resources available. Nongtuman Birain added that, that compensation will be paid only to residents of government recognized villages holding valid Aadhaar card. The MLA was dissatisfied with the house leader's response and said he wanted to know the exact number of houses reconstructed by government for all the victims of Manipur violence and those from Kundrakpam constituency in particular, as well as details of the beneficiaries. Responding to the query, Chief Minister Nong Thumbambirain said compensation is not provided constituency-wise. He informed that for Imphal East District, 50% advance compensation has been provided to 119 victim families, but did not furnish any further details, stating that those are personal information. Amri Lokeshwar also due the attention of the Chief Minister to provide adequate security forces to work vulnerable areas in Kundrakpam constituency. We reigned a short look into the matter. You make a take rubber, my sack rubber family sing you in a approved or one lakh per family, give twenty five percent advance sanction to re round verification of the account verification. Loy Boga Pitologani, Ate Akupamoldi, sensitive women at Hamjadre, Ga Kendragi, his up the people it, Impal is given a family, Sam Gataramapan, the fifty percent advance winner, Yum Sana Pitokre. Speaking in the House today, Chief Minister Nong Thombambi reigned asserted that Government of India is forging ahead with complete sealing of the Indo-Myanmar border and scrapping of free movement regime, adding that BSF personnel have started stationing at the border area. Responding to opposition to MLK Meg Chandra during the question R in the House, Nong Thombambi reigned said whether to scrap free movement regime or not is in the hands of the central government. He said, Centre recently decided to scrap the FMR citing threats to country's internal security and demographic structure of Northeast states. He said, a Ministry of Home Affairs had recommended immediate suspension of FMR considering that process to scrap the FMR is underway with the External Affairs Ministry. Mega Chandra pointed out that Nagaland and Mizoram government are against the scrapping of FMR, to which Dongtom Mambirint responded that the FMR has been under suspension since 2021 owing to coronavirus pandemic and it was further suspended for six months, stating that starting January 16th this year. He added that government has in initiated biometrics verification to identify and deport illegal immigrants. Nong Thumabirain said some of the illegal immigrants from Myanmar were found holding Aadhaar cards and some of them came for treatment at hospitals in Manipur. The chief minister said FIRs have been registered against those who were found possessing Aadhaar card illegally and investigation is underway. Opposition to MLA K. Ranjit and the TH Lokeshwar race calling attention in the House today on the fact finding report of the recent oil leakage at Leimakong Heavy Fueled Power, which was inaugurated by former President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam in 2002. Responding to the motion, to Power Minister Thongamt Vishwarjit said there is evidence that some miscreants had intentionally sabotaged the Leimakong Heavy Fueled Power Plant. Supporting the response, Home in Charge and Chief Minister Nong Thumabirin said some people had purposely split it, the spilt it, the 
heavy fuels with a bad intention. He asserted that two FIRs have been filed into the incident and investigation is underway. The chief minister also announced compensation to owner of farmlands where the leak fuel was diverted. The opposition Emily wanted to know how could the fuel leaked from the power plant which has been lying defunct for a long time and if any culprits were arrested or not. In reply, Minister Tongam Vishwajit said the Laimakong heavy power plant was run by heavy speed diesel oil, low speed oil and furnace oil. However, functioning of the plant was shut in 2012 as money spent on buying fuels had exceeded the electricity generated by the plant. He added that following the incident of the fuel leakage on January 10, the chief minister immediately advised to divert the flow of the leak fuel to nearby paddy land to prevent the fuel from flowing into Luangbi River at Kanto Sabald. The minister maintained that experts team from IIT Guwahati, Coast Guard team, State Environment Directorate and Old Split Combat Team OSCT Pune inspected the scene and collected water samples on January 11, 12, 15 and also on February 8, 14 and 27. Bishwajit said the quantity of fuels contained in the water sample collected by OSCT on February 27 was found to be non-toxic. He added the, that one the DGM has been suspended in connection with the case and inquiry going on under and IG but no one has been arrested so far. Tanki Siki Lakba, Pyre Sing Zika Talamba, Talakanda, well is in the Magalam be the Silakanda, High River River the Amlapnita with the book, Aquil Riba, River the Mahi over in the Magi, Aquil Riba, or two. A name of the Chandra was the Honasanina, the Matam Matam Tarapanina, a domain of Tamjaka, with the Bumashimi, Karanaka Talaman, Habadigi, Sandy Pange, Duga, Hatau Maju, Ranget or the Taudu, Purus, Akini Puram, the Bugi, Madame the Karino Abjeta, with the Bumadu investigation of Matorakanda, hiding a Mopotoka Mina Quen over Henda, Habudu, Yadabanina Madugi, Mahasa Tava, the report like any other. Imagi Maira members try to storm the state assembly complex over non discussion on necessary courses of action against 10 Kuki MLAs during assembly session. They try to take out a protest march from Kuya Thong Pukriya Chaubamapal to the assembly complex. However, Manipur police intercepted them and the protesters could not proceed any further. Imagi Maira convener T.S. Sujata said they have been demanding discussion in the assembly floor on the course of action to be taken against the cookie MLAs, but it has been ignored. She said there is no normalcy in Manipur yet, as claimed by state authorities. Aku istiad, amu mui na tasin, amu mumpusi na wasak lau dana aku gigi protect tau ni property protect tau ni life protect tau ni praja mian gigi hari aku pamin lagi bermu na semua ni demand tau raga mihat dana tau boleh raga bani na khana betul kau suka idea na tuh khan leba, ada tu nama ramu raga khana view manungyo bah pi bah pi tau na tuh ngam, aduh tau rak teba tau rak teba na kau cek kah cek kisu jadre, aduh tak pada kau si tasin na betul hing bagi arah lagi teriaba, situation ing bagi kau tu husi tasin na ada center na eh noy su lau tuh kolo hari pula rambe, aduh na noy khanda Small Business Enterprises Manipur Committee founder Paunam Sitaljit urged governments to consider the plights facing many loanees in the state who are yet to get moratorium benefit. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Sitaljit said many low knees are facing immense plight in paying their bank EMIs amidst the ongoing violence as they have not received the benefit of moratorium. He said some of them are even receiving legal notice from banks warning of seizing their properties which were mortgaged with the bank. Sitaljit appealed to the government to form a financial committee to address their grievances. He also appeals to provide small business owners 30% fresh loan similar to the 20% fresh loan provided during coronavirus pandemic. Loan has a quick Zahi Manga, Gimanunda, I am a business on his Simo Habini, Adu Moratrim, Pretesum, Sakravanina, Magi has a interest to not keep it all over the never. Aduna, Nasi Lupalising, Tarasing and Bamido, after Moratem, Perata, Malupalising, Kunsing, Kadori, Kunshasing, Kadori, Masagi, interest to not keep it all over. Maduki Potse, 
kamaina solution pura kada hai thanda loan ki tenor se sangdok pi hoga loan elongation of loan tenor in RBI ki rules the yaul be pot neba asi ki loan ki tenor se sangdok tar ki sahi manga mun ka singa do pot si sahi tara sanga singa tar ka di hoy ma interest budi khare hai na pura ni atar ka su ma ki singa ngam basa ang li singa tara singa jara mi do ang ki sang ma si singa ngam ka do ri baneba Manipur State Cooperative Bank Limited and Manipur State Rural Livelihood Mission distributed loaned amount of 37 lakh and 50,000 rupees to 25 self-help groups in Judibam district today. Loan sanctioned letter were distributed to self-help groups during a program jointly organized by MSCV and MSRLM at Judibam Municipal Council Auditorium in Babupura. Judibam Dishi Krishna Kumar, Judibam SPA Ganeshyam, JMC Executive Officer M. Surjit and MSCV Judibam Brands Manager A. Thoiba attended the event. Thoiba said the bank has provided soft loan to those self help groups so that they could use it for their own financial sustainability. He added that encourage the loanees to reply their debt on time. Manipur is that property bank limited now. Jiribam branch now. Manipur is that rural livelihood missing the Kusum Naraga. Tele group sing the loan Hadiva Sampungi Masingsi. Narang Bauda 34 lakh 80,000. Nasi 37 lakh 50,000 ki loan sanction letter respected. Deputy Commissioner Amadi respected. Superintendent Police Amadi respected. Executive Officer Galwinina. MSB limited Amadi MSRLM now. Missing a simple sanction letter. Yentoke. Hayang the Gidi. Celebrate putting the Lakamaka fifty thousand. Lakamakai, Lakamakai, Okoi, Pinam Sim Samaruzi. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam appreciated passing of the Manipur Prevention of Malpractices is in HSLC and HSE Build 2024 and appealed to Governor of Manipur to give assistance to the build to turn it into an action. Speaking to media at Desam office in Kwakai Hill today, Desam President Mayangbam Somor Jeet said Desam has been urging the relevant department, education minister and chief minister to enact a panel law to prevent malpractices in exams. He said Desam also appreciates the state government for launching College Fagat Hansi mission, loading the introductions of various courses under National Education Policy 2020. Somar Jeet urged the government to recruit qualified teachers for the newly introduced courses and also demanded rationalization of college teachers by Education Department. Hogo what hook my am she the same of a musing, Tapita, and Bibi Hiram the Lady Boz asking Borogasu, Natagana Tongan Ba, Hongban Tien Ba, Rugamashida, Akanana, intends Nelly, Pui Paisa, Logana, Karbara, Munasa, Mukia, Pui Miam Nasu, Aduga, Deshamasu, Hadana Putuka, Mamam Lake, Toba the Boo, Asigumba, Chenner of a musing, a sea, Karamba, Eki, Makada, Makuida, Sanaba, which say up bigger the gay high visit these days, Siki, Madame Sanga, later Vasina Maramo Ragan, a sea power, the Sigumba, Tong Si, Leptana, Saturna Lak Libani, Adubu. Agas house asina, Villama, Pastor Ba, Asimak, Kumba, Toning Dover Togo, Aduba, quality education, the compromised over the Batong Singh, say, Ting, but a Choba Mating Amadi Uergani, Havasi, a Koya Chetpa, Hazazabani. Renowned Sumalila artist Oinam Toiba, popularly known as Ibai Toiba, passed away this morning from an illness. He was 70. Toiba was a resident of Naharup Mayai Lekai. He is served by his wife Pangabam Bilashini and six children. Ibai Toiba started his career as Sumanglila artist with the play Puya Maithaba. During his lifetime, Toiba acted in Manipur films such as Satra, Ima Ilai Horage and Chekla Pai Krabada and popular Sumanglila plays like Abir Khan, Kashamtong Toibi and Sabi Sano Express. He had received Best Actor and Supporting Actor Award for Sumanglila in Lekang Thambal, Thabatond, and Manglangi Mancha. Toiba won second best direct, director award for Sumanglila Kaidongai Chatkani and best director award for Arang Bathawami Chak. Open! 
मफाई मांग दे मखुदा मुझे पाई दे सिलो नूपी मसाने यार के दिफूबी को मसाने याद ने पूबा का दिन ना गम्मा के लाऊँ ना Late Toiba's wife Bilasini said her husband was undergoing medical treatment for the past around one year. She said they face hardship in bearing his medical expenses. Bilasini informed that Toiba was rushed to hospital yesterday after he started complaining of feeling unwell and passed away this morning. Yeah, wow. No man in the last salura ga lupak pun bolok. No matam de sin badung ko na ramé. Isa tang bani na ko. Isa taruk sigi lai tamok bagi waba. Kali hari ni bung ima hari bung kang di. Isa di tu di kasi kada ni do. Ila do yaro ga ni do isa mayam siya may isa. Ay kang de ay ngasin ngalang ima gi thong mong si di ay di mang bung bani na tay. Isa isa nuti gi pamaga nung sa si yaro ga sak si sari ni ba. Isu ling kapi ni sak si sari ni ba si isa malay isa. Ay kari hai hai kita ngomong dia si ni aja cuma tak tahu tu dia. Mesti kita awak apa tu 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 macam ni nungai apa pang tu ni macam ni macam ni. Well, now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Supreme Court ending immunity for lawmakers taking bribes to vote. We'll be back with details after the break. Until then, keep watching Impact News. Yang di dalam tu yang interesting orang boleh offer mak pudu na lag jari lag lewa February tu di nain pawai lagi orang na combo seta lupa leasing pun teruka cama pandagi hawarga. Ama di TV washing machine na teruka washing machine fridge lobby basing ke orang na lagi jo ama pangkuk jaga ni. Kio iba kabel ama kanga teruka Thailand honeymoon trip serba ya bagi. Upa malol di dalam lengsin birak si majohap ke sampar kunjeng hajar lekai. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin and moving on with our bulletin. Supreme Court rules that members of parliament and state legislature who take bribes to vote or speak in a certain manner in the parliament or legislative assembly are not anymore immune from the prosecution. The Apex Court's seventh judge constitution bans headed by Chief Justice of India D. Y. Chandra Chud on Monday said in an unanimous decision that bribery is not protected by parliamentary privilege. The constitution envisions a probity in public life. The court explained that the legal protection provided to MPs and MLAs under Article 105 and Article 194 of the Constitution does not shield them from the prosecution. If the case involved bribery for vote or speech in Parliament or legislatures. 7. Bribery is not rendered immune under Articles 1052 and the corresponding provision of Article 194 because a member engaging in bribery commits a crime which is not essential to the casting of the vote or the ability to decide on how the vote should be cast. Ahead of the 18 Lok Sabha election, a meeting of district-leveled officers, DLOs and political parties was convened Today at the conference hall of Chandal District Deputy Commissioner Office. Speaking on the meeting, Chandal DC Myang Lambam Rajkumar said the district is prepping up to open more than 20 polling stations for women and 11 companies of central paramilitary forces might be deployed in the Lok Sabha election in Chandal District. District level officers, officials of different departments and representatives of various political parties like BJP and N. PF attended the meeting. The meeting discussed about measures for free and fair conduct of the coming polls and writing to the DC office, district ARO and STO office prior to the election to ensure that displaced voters at relief camps could cast their vote at nearby polling stations. Today, regional convention the northeastern state on the available millets in the northeast region of Varad and its benefit and nutrition MDM Angalwandi and Take Home Russian, jointly organized by Central Agricultural University Imphal and National Commission for Protection of Child's Right, New Delhi, concluded today. Speaking at the valedictory event, Dean of College of Agriculture, Central Agricultural University Imphal, Professor Indira Sarangtim stressed the need to promote 
promote millet crops and to widely popularize the benefit of millets in Northeast region. She said millets is popular in other states and the crop is known for its nutritional value and climate resilient quality. She also thanked the Social Welfare Department, Angalwadi and Asa workers for their cooperation in organizing the convention. Prizes were distributed to outstanding government and private stalls which took part in the convention. Participants also appreciated Central Agricultural University Imphal for hosting the event and for providing invaluable knowledge to students on the importance of millet. Angawadi workers, then our supervisors, CCPOs and ASA facilitators, they have taken very keen interest and in these two days without any, what to say, interruption. We used to conduct lots of uh, seminars, symposium, then convention. But this time we feel a change, particularly in these, uh, we should say, main sections of supervisors, social welfare teams, I should say. Rightfully said, you are the disseminators of the programs of these two days convention. Feedback from the supervisors, their machinery, and then hands-on training, like demonstration, all these things. So CAOE is going to purchase the machines, the husking of these millet grains. We are, uh, CAOE is going to purchase them. Blue Ocean Academy Brahmapur Nahavam back the first positioned at regional convention of northeastern states on the available millets in the northeastern region of Bharat and its nutrition. MDM Angalwadis and take home the Russians held at Central Agricultural University in Fall, which concluded today. Samagra Siksha Elementary State Implementation Society and District Project Office ZEO Channel jointly carried out foundation literacy and numeracy teaching learning materials FLN and TLM Mela at the multipurpose hall of Channeled District DC complex. Samagra Siksha Channeled District Project Officer comes ZEO Channeled Yumnand Hemchandra, Deputy Inspector of School Channeled L. Priyokumar, along with teachers and students of various schools, attended the event. <laughs> Makoi Makoi, minimum level of learning to a chip to Nanabidota, Adugi, high river teaching learning materials, Toan Toan, the primary school, Sandil, the civil labor singi, or asking the Makoi locally available or by materials in Sidina and the Sahalaga, Makam to the Ulakanda, calculation the Uragasu, multiplication table the Uragasu, Aduan three Pambi and Tanke Haragasu, Kari Gumba topic, Amadu, the Yamalaina Makoi. Regional Institute of Medical Sciences Rims Imphal to organize a free health checkup at Langol Olage Home in Langol Ningtholekai under SAP 2023-24. The health checkup was jointly carried out by Medicine Department of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences and Secretary, Non-Teaching Welfare Association, NTEWA, RIMS. They also provided a monetary health of Rs 20,000 along with free medicines for inmates. Chairman of Langol Old Age Home, Oinam Mangi, thanked RIMS for providing health to the Old Age Home. Kongzom Primary Health Center, PHC Medical Officer in charge, DH. Samananda wrapped up three-day intensified pulse polio immunization program which was carried out in place covered by Kongjuan Primary Health Center. 2,128 children from 0 to 5 years of age were given to polio drops at 24 booths opened in Kongjuan area during the polio immunization drive which started on March 3. Drug Abuse Awareness and Health Camp held at the Homi and Halang village of Ukrul district under the initiative of Minister Kashim Vashum concluded successfully yesterday. Additional SP of Ukrul Ringthing Hongche stressed the negative impact of drug abuse during the one-day awareness held at the Homi village while the health camp was held at Halang village for two days on March 3 and 4. 
laid by Secretary of SIDO Kulajit Maishnam and President of WCAD Namre Wong Haram, WCAD DAPCU Police Department Ukrold. LWS SPYM PASDO CARE SNM and SIDO jointly organized the program. A total of 600 villagers attended the program. Twenty-four hour total sat down called by Committee on Tribal Unity Kotu in Southern Hills Kangpokpi concluded peacefully at ten AM today. The total sat down was called to protest the resolution of Manipur Legislative Assembly to end suspension of operation with cookie militants as the shutdown ends schools, educational institutions and business centers resumed their operation while vehicles started service on the highways during the shutdown a mass rally was organized in kampokpi yesterday with large number of people protesting against the decisions to end suspension of operation with cookie militants group by manipur legislative assembly they also demanded the re-imposition of a fasfa in valley area Police release Lamyanba Iravat Memorial Integrated Trust Limit Manipur President Thongam Malim, who has been staging hunger strike demanding peace in Manipur and abrogation of suspension of Operation Pack with Kukke militants yesterday. The transgender activist is undergoing treatment at Jennings Hospital due to deteriorating health condition. Now the news from the world of sports. Manipur sails into the semi-final of 77th National Football Championship for Santos Trophy after threshing Assam 7-1 in the quarter-final match which was played today at Golden Jubilee Stadium, UPR and Arunachal Pradesh. Right from the beginning, Manipur dominated the game and managed to secure the opening goal in fourth minute itself. It was Fijam Sanatoy scoring the first goal and the scoring spear continued till the end of half time, with Manipur leading by four goals to nil in the second half. Assam managed to pull back one goal back in 64th minute of the match. However, Manipur added another three goals to sell the semi final spot. Sadananda secured a brilliant hat-trick in the match for Manipur. Manipur will take on Goa in the semi-finals on March 7 at 7 p.m. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin. But before we wind up, let's take a glimpse at the headlines once again. 1,555 people injured in Manipur violence, 28 people still missing. Chief Minister Andrew Rain says governments making all-out efforts to address missing persons but facing challenges in entering certain areas. Nine individuals, including one Myanmar national, arrested so far in connection with the assassination of Moray SDP of Jinkham Anand Kumar. Chief Minister Nongkum Rain says NIA investigation. Fifty percent compensation provided to 139 victims of money violence under scheme for permanent housing. House leaders not only raise its assessment on damage pending for to the temple district. Renowned Sumalila artist Oinam Koiba, popularly known as Ibai Koiba, passed away this morning from after a prolonged illness at 70. Supreme Court ends immunity for members of parliament and state legislatures who take rights to vote or speak in certain manner in parliament or legislative assembly. And Manipur sails into a semi-final of 77th National Football Championship for Santos Trophy after threshing a San 7-1 in the quarter-final match. Thank you so much for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time, Money Puri Bulletin. In the meantime, have a great evening and always stay safe.